Today we'll be replacing the single socket with a um, newer double socket. First thing we want to do is kill the power to it. Black lead in first, and your red lead on that side. Flicker on. Should show 240 volts. You switch board and flick circuits off until you find the right one. And your meter should show 0 volts when it's dead. Um, an alternative way is to plug something like a vacuum cleaner into the socket and flicker on and go flick your switches off in the switchboard until your vacuum cleaner turns off. Now to be safe you might want to chuck a bit of tape over the breaker you've just flicked off so no one goes and accidentally turns it on. If you're still really unsure, um, flick the main switch off or alternatively call an electrician in to do it for you. Next step pop the dots out and then unscrew the screws behind once you've done that there will usually be three different coloured cables behind it one neutral, one phase and one earth so take those cables out once you've unscrewed them I suggest re-terminating them um, these ones are terminated perfectly um, if you're not sure on how to terminate properly, uh, then watch my video on that. Check it out. Uh, the next step is to fit the new socket on. On the backs of these ones, uh, 600 series by PDL. We've got A, E and N clearly written out. So red goes into A, green goes into E, black goes into N. Once they're in, double check your terminations. Give it a pull test. You pull on each cable and make sure your terminals are tight enough, and then it's ready to go back on. When your new socket's on, you're happy with it, go and flip the power back on. You can double check with your meter, there's power on it, 